You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Donna Atherton here. Welcome, Donna. Nice to see you. Thank you, Mark. Thanks for coming here. I am not even going to attempt to pronounce this, even though it's all spelled out for me. Um, you are someone that helps people battle a disease. I do. Tell me what the disease is, and maybe by the end of the nine minutes, I'll be able to say it. Okay. I don't know. Okay, we'll, I'll we'll try. We'll try. It's high hydradenitis subutivia. And what is that? It is a chronic skin disease that okay. affects approximately one million people. Okay, so that's new to me. Um, I hadn't heard of it before, but um, I'm a, I told you I'm a teacher mm -hmm. and I always want to learn something new. So a million people, how did how did you get involved with this? And, and you try to help other people. Yeah, so, I do. Um, they can get help and, and uh, feel more comfortable. Tell right. Us. Well, I got into this because I also suffer from the disease. Okay. I um, battled with boils all my life as a teenager, mm -hmm. and it it escalated into hydronitis, and that is because um, primary care doctors weren't diagnosing my symptoms. Okay. So if they had a probably caught it a little earlier, I wouldn't have gotten to the stage three. Okay. Is it hereditary? Is it, it? They say, researchers say it is hereditary. Okay. So, you know, when you went to the primary care doctor to begin with, mm -hmm. did, did they misdiagnose it or, or not? It, it, I mean, see, primary care doctors sometimes are generalists. They're not I know. specialists in certain I know. things. Like I, my, my dad's elderly. He's 89 years old. And, He's got a doctor for everything, mm -hmm. okay? But when you're younger, like we are, right? Right. <laughs> um, you don't have to go to all those specialists right. until something happens. But um, what causes, um, I'm gonna call it HS because I can't say it. That's a good name to call it. Okay. Yes. Um, well, they say, research, researchers say that it, it is hereditary. They also say that it, it may be in some of the foods that we eat and in, in if you're a smoker, but not saying that if you smoke or you eat prom foods that are not within the the guidelines of HS, mm -hmm. um, you won't you won't get the disease. You your disease would just be um, under control a little bit more. Okay, what causes it? Do you, do, you, do, you, do we know? Is we it don't a, know yet. Okay, so it's it's, it's like. I'll be honest with you, I hadn't heard of this like I said to you, and I was telling you that uh, my office manager here knows a young man that is suffering from it. Mm -hmm. So uh, I, I was glad that if we can help one person and they have someone to turn to for help or support, whatever. Um, right. What are the conditions? What are the, uh, are the effects or the associated conditions that go with the disease? Well, there are three stages, Hurley's one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. Hurley's one is like a boil. Mm -hmm. you, you might get it one, one or two or three in different locations. Mm -hmm. It's not, um, it hurts, it's painful, it's a boil. That's what I was gonna ask you. Um, the second stage is, re, it's, it, re, it reoccurs. Um, it, um, it, it has, the symptoms are a, a lot different than the first first stage, because it 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 becomes multiple. It comes in multiple places on your body, mm -hmm. um, widely spread on the body. Um, in the third stage, it's it's more of clusters, mm -hmm. um, and it has seepage, pus seepage, mm -hmm. and it has an odor a very foul odor. And during that stage, um, most people tend to have surgery and have the abscesses move, removed. Mm -hmm. But even though you may have the abscesses removed, it doesn't necessarily mean it won't come back again. Now, it says, we were talking, that we don't, we don't know how it's caused specifically, but there are risk factors. Um, is age one of them? Um, it starts at puberty, mm -hmm. and it can go to middle age. Okay. Um, 
most common in, in early 20s? Most common in early 20s. Okay. That's when most people are actually diagnosed with hydronitis. Okay. And so is it more male, more female, or is it, it gender neutral? There are males and there are females, but there are more females. Mm -hmm. So when you first had it and you went and were misdiagnosed, mm -hmm. how did you get on the right track? How did, uh, did they send you to a specialist? What, I, without getting into, I, I will tell you, you're very brave to come and talk about mm -hmm. something that, um, you know, people don't really like to share no. if they have a disease or an ailment or something like that. And right. I, I always admire people that will talk about things. So right, thank you. What, what did you, what did you do? How did you get it on well, track? I was properly diagnosed 37 mm -hmm. years old. Um, I went to a specialist and uh, they did, um, exams and they, they um, did um, swabs and they dis they determined that I had HS. Do so you, then... Do you have other family members too? That have HS? Yeah. No. Okay. So I've had family members who had boils. Okay. So you must be asking why me? I probably did in the beginning, but mm -hmm. now it's it's how do I deal with this and how do I make my life happy? Mm -hmm. with this disease and how can I help others improve their quality of life. So if people wanted to get in touch with, is there a group, an association, a support group, a website, give us the, I just got, believe it or not, we got the three minute, a uh, couple of minute cues. So oh, we'll, gee, that was quick. It uh, is quick. I told you, <laughs> nothing to be afraid of and, and I'll bring you back and we'll do a full show. Okay. Okay. Um, website. Mm -hmm. www.iahsn.org. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The name of my organization is called International Association of Hydronitis Superativa Network, Inc. Mm -hmm. I have a Facebook page. Okay. Um, you can just go on to Hydronitis Superativa Network and you should be able to find me there. Um, I do also a group, a meetup group, mm -hmm. at Messiah Baptist Church, um, the third Wednesdays of each month. And we start at 6.30. Oh, that's good. They're a great community partner, Messiah Baptist Church. Let's a lot of different groups use their yes. facilities. And maybe that's why you look familiar, because we've covered a lot of different oh, events over okay. there. So um, what's the number one thing you want to get out there um, in about 30 seconds to the viewing public. You may know someone or you may have the disease and there is help for this disease. You don't have to go it alone. There are support groups out there. Um, and I think the key for anyone who may think they have this disease is finding the right doctor who knows about it. Because um, you can be going from doctor to doctor and not receive the help that you actually need for the disease, but finding the right dermatologist, because dermatologists actually treat this disease. Okay. And finding that right dermatologist that have knowledge about the disease will be helpful for you. Thank you for sharing. We're gonna have you come back. Thank you. Okay, very nice to meet you. You too, thank you so much. Um, you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.